I remember when the future was all about this. Just chilling somewhere in a room with a TV and a Wii. Whacking the controller around in various directions. Now all of a sudden VR seems to be the future of gaming. But what if I told you that a long time ago, that the future was now? Go away, SNK! And indeed it was back then, for Nintendo thought the same thing when they released this bad boy to the market. The Virtual Boy. This was released almost 12 years ago, and it failed miserably back then, and has become an anomaly now. I've had mine for a while, and I've had great times with it, especially with one particular game that I'd like to share with you. And it is... Hello? Hello! Hello, Brian! God. Weird as ever. What do you want, Russell? I don't know. Okay then, well goodbye. Alright man, come on, can I please come in? Why? The weather! It's bright and sunny. Oh yeah. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. What can I do to get in? Well, what's the password? All right, two words. Brandon Rogers. Come on in. So, uh, what have you been doing? Well, I was playing the Wii for a spell, but I was about whoa, to... Whoa, whoa, what's that? Well, like I was saying, I was playing the Wii. But I was about to play this. Oh, this is cool! I take it you've heard of the Virtual Boy. Well, well yeah, I just haven't seen one in person before. Well, that's good because I didn't want to explain it to the audience again. Uh, audience? Yeah, right over there. Well, what are they doing here? For the show that's going up on YouTube. YouTube? You, you did tell me you had a channel before. Dude, you were one of my first subscribers. True. Well, funny you have this, because I just so happened to... Well, what's that? Oh, well, this is the game I'm playing. Funny, I haven't heard of this one before. Really? You're missing out. Well, can okay, I try it? Of course you can. But first, this. What? Transition into the intro. Galactic Pinball for the Virtual Boy. Welcome to Space World. Let's go. It's the mid-90s. The Virtual Boy hit the scene on August 16th, 1995. The console didn't last long, only being available until March 2nd, 1996, when it was canned. But it didn't leave without placing its mark on the gaming community with games like the classic Virtual Boy Wario Land to the obscure like Jack Bros. But out of all the 14 games released here in the States, one of them stands out for me. Galactic Pinball. This game was released on August 16, 1995 to receive waves of positive reviews from the critics. Now, I know what you're thinking, how can pinball and virtual reality go hand in hand? Well, this was a period of testing and creativity, and I think the devs at Nintendo and Intelligent Systems really pulled something off here. Russell, put that down! So yeah, we're having a look at a pinball game to see what pinball strats are like in VR space. So let's take a better look at Galactic Pinball.
When you travel to the space world, as that announcer would say, you better be ready to go. Is that really what you came up with? Get off my back, I don't have a lot to work with. You'll be controlling flippers on a pinball grid, and you'll be keeping a puck in play instead of a ball because Nintendo couldn't get the license to that, apparently. That may sound familiar to the NES's pinball, but the difference between that and this is that there's four pinball grids to choose from, all having a different personality from one another. First up we have... This is the one I consider the average pinball game because it just has your basics from your bumpers to the drop targets on the side to the kickout holes. I didn't know what to call these targets so I looked up pinball terms and this is the closest I could find that fits what they are. All targets will do certain things like add a letter for a complete the word bonus, make a quick time challenge appear, and even have a cyber roulette to give you something to help keep the ball in play. Which is what these meteor targets are here for anyway, to give posts that'll save your ball, but whatever. There's also a bonus target which is on every grid that if you hit three times you'll have the option to get a free half a million points or go to a weird bonus game involving stars. Cause we're in space. Get it? The really interesting thing that's only for this playfield is when you activate this kickout hole you'll have a period of time to clash with the bumpers. If you hit them a few times they'll explode. And if you get all three, you'll receive a bonus and we'll go into a mode where you'll take control of Samus Aran's gunship and shoot down all the baddies coming into the playfield. Samus from Metroid on the Virtual Boy. Who would have thought? Next up, we have my favorite playfield in the game. This grid has targets galore and it's for a specific purpose. There's target formations that'll be designated by the board and you gotta hit the designated target for points. You'll be doing this throughout the game, moving on, I didn't mean it like that, to more target formations with more targets to hit to complete it. If you hit targets not designated by the formation, you'll get letters forming the word rescue. Complete that and a ship will come out for a period of time, and when coming into contact with the puck, will take it along its path, which can help you with trying to hit certain targets at a closer range. Another thing to this board is the comments coming closer to the colony. When it does reach the board, your ball will turn into a makeshift gun, and you'll be tasked to take down the oncoming comments to receive an accuracy bonus. Also on this board are things I mentioned before like the roulette and the bumpers, but with the added challenge of the target formations and the occasional comment attack, this playfield has some sort of appeal that just makes me love this pinball grid. It's really good. On to the worst. Okay, next up is... It must be something for this narrator to get by a day. I mean, everything he says, the sound effect follows him. It's like a punchline. Brian, can I get a turn? Fuck. Right, so UFO. This is my least favorite grid. I don't have the best of times with it as shown here. There isn't a lot going on and it's very plain from what I can tell. Most things are from the previous board, so what is there to talk about? I know there's other things to do with it because I got to do this once, but I'm just not able to show you guys here. Either that or you just suck. I will throw this nunchuck at you. Go back to playing Wii Tennis. Try me. Alright, the final board of the game is called... This is a very interesting playfield to say the least. It's very open in the center having only the bumpers, which the puck can get stuck into. Most of the primary targets are on the sides, plus there's some added flippers to help you get closer to the top where there lies more bumpers and drop targets. You can even get into some loops. But the main point in this grid is the alien's lair. Hit that target and an alien will appear which you'll need to hit repeatedly to get chances at some bonus points. So that's the game. It's Pinball on the Virtual Boy with a space theme. It may not seem like much, but take my word for it, the game is really fun when you get down to it. The visuals are really something to behold when you play it for yourself, even though you may be teary-eyed after the fact. It's a very unique game, and I may use that term a lot, but this game is really that. So yeah, that's how you play. Moving on. The music was composed by Kenji Yamamoto and Masaru Tajima, and it fits the theme pretty well. It can range with tones of a smooth calmness from space and then transition into an intense life or death situation. Take Colony again, for example. Calm for a second, 
and then the next, Intensity. So yeah, I like this soundtrack a lot. Moving on. As this was one of the earliest games for the system, there isn't a lot of extra content to go around. The only thing left in this game is the high scoreboard where you can witness the top five scores for each of the pinball boards. Plus, there's an automatic pause button, so that way some don't have to withstand the ice drain the Virtual Boy is known for. Well, I think I've gotten most of this covered. Do you want to play wrestle? Oh, uh, yeah, I want to go blind! Okay, you can do that in a sec, but first... This! There isn't a lot to know about the game's sales, but it has been popular among Virtual Boy players and critics. But that hasn't helped it come out of hiding as it faded out of the public eye along with the Virtual Boy, never seeing another release again. Alright, I think I got everything covered. Okay, Russell, you can have your turn while I end this off. Nice! So, what is my rate to play? It's a must play. For anyone collecting the Virtual Boy or to anyone that can emulate Virtual Boy games, this is the game to play. It's very fun, has a nice premise, the colony board is great fun, and the appeal of playing pinball in the Milky Way galaxy is just awesome. That's only my opinion. If you have your own thoughts, leave a comment. If you like what you see, leave a like. If you think others will enjoy this, share it around the web. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Anyway, this has been Brian the Blue Game Reviews Galactic Pinball. For the I don't think so, Russell. Why not? Well, for the fact that you tried to beat me up, I think I'm gonna leave you in there for a bit to think about your poor life choices. I have no idea what you're talking about. I remember I was trying to play and I just blacked out to here. I'm not sure if I believe you. Well, what if I told you I have something that you want? The game? Yes. Valuable? Oh, <laughs> very valuable. How much is it worth? Uh, over 200 bucks. For what system? The virtual Boy. You didn't. See for yourself.
there was. You guys are back to normal. <laughs>